like clowns We got all the alcohol and all the blunts And then we'll go sit around chit chat like some oh, uh. Either way, what can I say? It's the middle of the day I felt like I was having a stroke the first time We're just a little high but like, oh. either way We are the three buddy system guys Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Buddy Cast. I'm your host today, William Henderson. Joining me as always, Carlos Patino and George <coughs> Burrito. <coughs> <coughs> that new intro song, it, the the edit sounds like like a nineties mm-hmm. uh like yeah. Walmart album. You for know? sure. Mm. For sure. The radio edit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And how I have it. Where it's like a spin back. It's not yeah. even like a wicka wicka. It's, it's just the, like it's the like unintentional. Rock. It's your from a nipis <laughs> wink. <Yeah. laughs> it's your from a nipis wink. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like that. Yeah, that's actually exactly what, what, what I did. What is it in Little Nicky when he goes backwards on the record? <laughs> I command you to spill the blood of the innocent. Dude, Chicago you. rocks. In the name of Satan. Yeah. <laughs> From the deep south. Yeah. Underrated movie. That's one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies, and Little nobody Nicky. ever talks about I, it. I need to watch it again. It's been a long time mm-hmm. since I've seen it. But I remember Pepper, the last Pepper time. I remember, the, <laughs> I remember the last time watching it, laughing my dick mm-hmm. off. So, yeah. The deep south. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify's I wasn't allowed to watch that movie. Awesome. Really? I believe that. Mm, yeah, yeah, I definitely believe that. that. They would have, you would have turned away quicker. You yeah. would have been like, this thing's making some good points. This is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Solid movie. Solid movie. But it's probably one in his like library that he's like, mm, that's not that good. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> that's like, do you guys remember Happy Gilmore? Wasn't that good? <laughs> I'm going to make a number two. How do yeah. you feel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. People will be hating about like alien Romulus and shit. I'm really? Seeing, I'm seeing very I need to catch on up. both sides. A lot of people are like, what the fuck? And then I think the shills are like, I loved it. Hmm. So Did you watch Covenant? No. Wait. Was, yes? You probably you're probably thinking Prometheus then. I did see Prometheus, yeah. yes. Maybe I didn't see Covenant that. is was the one that came after that one. I don't remember. Pretty good. I, I look. I just watch the yeah. Alien movies. I look forward to the Predator movies. Oh, okay. Those are the shit. They're great. Oh, but only when the Predator became like the size of a linebacker. Because mm-hmm. that makes sense. When like, do you, did you watch AVP where he fucking yeah. tackles the Xenomorph into the wall? Like, yes. Don't even give him anything. Do that for the mm-hmm. next hour and a half. It's mm-hmm. great. And in the second AVP, they kill a kid like five minutes in. I'm like, oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> metal, bro. Great movie. No bro. limits. <laughs> <laughs> From the gate, let's go. You might as well kill a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> let's start killing cute things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in the most how, brutal That's ways. how you knew John Wick was going to be dope. You're like, fuck. <laughs> that oh, puppy's someone just cute. killed his yeah. dog? Yeah. It's on, yeah. dude. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, what? How much dialogue? Seventeen lines. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Those are fun ass movies for sure. They are. Well, there was that. There was only one scene so far that I'm like, that was a little much, and mm. it was it was one of the ones with Halle Berry. She kind of ruins. It. Oh, with the dogs. Yeah, she kind of ruins it. Yeah. Even great was that fucking. Remember the scene where they're throwing knives at each other? Shit. <laughs> yes, I do <laughs> for like ten that. minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of my faves, yo. One of my faves. Yeah. So uh, I hear people are giving out hand jobs at Back to the Grind, yo. Uh, I just find I don't, I don't know. I just find it a little weird. Is this what's yeah. going on? Yeah. Dude. This is what happens yeah, when in the, the white sex bathroom. When there's not a, 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 a white what? a white leader white amongst presence? you. No, you just the presence just needs to be there. <laughs> it's just, you know, like an authority figure. Yeah. Like some of them, yeah. They go. He's probably a cop. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't do this. So what's happening? Well, I mean, I guess people are like signing people up for other people. That that here's the thing. Oh, this is what we're calling hand jobs. Here's yeah, I get. We can call it that. Huh. You want to call it that? You know what? Unintentionally, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give some comedy hand idea. jobs. Oh, yeah, right. you're giving because like, it is because like no one's really happy about it. You mm-hmm. know, like no yeah. one really. That's not what you really want. So right, you know right, what? Right. It fits. I'll yeah. go with that. That's yeah, fine. That's actually uh, great. At least for this episode, yeah. how many hand jobs are you going to give tonight? Is what we can ask mm-hmm. when someone si- sure. tries to sign yeah. up more than one person, and they'll know exactly what we're talking about. We don't even have to explain to them. But like I don't know, like they're. Here, here's here's the thing. I get it. Like, if it's someone that's like from our scene already, you know, like like if it's Melissa or Mike, I feel weird about it. Just like you said, nobody but likes also, it. But also, like someone who contributes. We'll post. Yeah. We'll post a list. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to you. Yeah. Check, check the uh, check the info in this episode. Yeah, but but it's when you're doing it for people that like, that's that that's you telling them like, oh, I'll get you on for sure. You know. Yeah. Oh, Where I got it, you. I got you. Yeah. And it's like, why are you doing that? 
Like, you're not running anything, and you're I, you're I promising see, things. Yeah, now. but I see the other side of that, and it I logically it makes sense of like he he they she like those people because it's not one person. Mm-hmm. I know they're gonna think it's one person. There's a few people that do it, yep. and and there's always gonna be a few people that do mm-hmm. it. And those people would probably do it for anybody, but that doesn't make it okay. Mm-hmm. You know, especially like on a night that I'm running, like I'm hoster, like you're not producing at all you didn't set up or anything mm-hmm. like if someone else is gonna like that doesn't feel odd mm-hmm. you know like this is this is practice and part of practice sometimes is you know taking your own pads out to the field you're gonna take out your friends too like mm-hmm. why that was my question why mm-hmm. what is what what are you how are you helping them by doing them this favor mm-hmm. and i would have changed my tune if there was a real good legitimate answer but i didn't get one mm-hmm. so until i do it's just it's weird it's odd on a show that, you know, you don't... For an open mic, dude. Yeah, yeah, that, that too. There's other places to go. Yeah. On a Thursday of, of all, yeah. like, there's other places yeah. to go. It's like, oh, if you, if, you, if you can't make it to that one, dude, not only would it benefit everybody else because now they might get more time... Like you, you're not gonna, you're yeah. not gonna miss out on <laughs> space time. I'm getting mad at time. promoting a successful mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's like... I don't know, like, if you're going to miss this spot, there's a, this other spot you can go to. You're still going to get stage time. It might not be as cool as you want it to be, but it's like if you're pursuing the stage time and, you know, working on a material, like, like, like on a joke or whatever, then it's like if you're not going to make it to this one and, you know, like, just don't bother someone to be like, hey, like, can you put me up? Like, that's how awesome Back to the Grind is, you know? <laughs> I guess. That's what they want. They want to do it up there. So it's like, I get it. It's awesome. But it's like, dude, if you don't make it on time, like, why are you just don't go to that one then? Sorry. Like, it sucks, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Because then, like, sure. It's I a like grind, it. though, bro. <laughs> but then I also feel bad. I'm like, they're here. Mm-hmm. You know, like, now I kind of feel an unnecessary pressure to be like, all yeah. right, let me try and cut everyone's time so that you can also show up. Because, yeah. I mean, regardless of skill level, there are people there you know, a handful that are there when we're there. Mm-hmm. We're setting up very early. Like, mm-hmm. and you're gonna fuck ask dude, them. Go home, play WoW. Yeah. And you're gonna <laughs> yeah. ask them like, yeah, to you sign want you them, up. Yeah, and then you want to take time from them because mm-hmm. you can't get there. Like there are, like you said, other fucking places mm-hmm. to go. Yeah, it's just rude. It's weird. And if somebody can give me a, we- a good reason, we can talk about it. But I have yet to have one. Yeah, I guess. it's just like a, a shameless thing too. It's just like, hey, sign me up. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh, come on, dude. Yeah. Like but I've, I've seen it since we started doing this. Mm-hmm. Though. That's why that's why the rule at the whiteboard was like, you can only sign up for yourself. Mm-hmm. bro. And, I, and so like, that's not my culture. This has been brought into mm-hmm. our scene with the whiteboard where people getting bitching is like, going, hey, Eric, you need to figure this out. This fucking blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. I was here first. Like, that is why that rule exists. And then it's y'all fair. are the reason Aaron yeah. moved to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And uh, I mean, I'll admit it. Like, I think I, I'm pretty sure I have done it. I've done it with Frankie before, mm-hmm. you know, for sure. I'll. So I'm not going to say that like, oh, no. It's, right. You know. I'll do it for like you guys, but I'll, you guys are probably 10 minutes away. Mm-hmm. You know, like to sign someone up that doesn't show up until, until after, after the starts. show starts with it's just that's not how we run things. Mm-hmm. Out here. It's <clears throat> it's disrespectful to everybody else. Mm-hmm. And may, but you maybe wanna, we're fucking wrong. I don't know. Fuck but <laughs> but but they want to do it because they were told yeah. that it's an awesome room and you got to come because there's a crowd and yeah, shit like if, that. If that's the case, you, so, you sh- value it, show yeah, up on time. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but but that's that's the and reason like, they're making their the the path over here. You know, people know how comedy is now. They know the the lists are long. Uh, you know, and it's like what we're not shy about but, it either. Yeah. We post them all. But mm-hmm. what's their what they're I don't know if they're all aware that like we have a heart out. Mm-hmm. You know. I don't know if most people know that. Not if they're f- not from where we're right, at, exactly. you know, like from other things. I also so. make it a point to, like, oh, the graphic or the c- caption says six, seven to nine. Like, it's it's mm-hmm. clear. Yeah, but you know. But no. Cause no, it's because they're, they're, <laughs> they're used to comedy open mics running the whole night. Exactly. And it ran like shit. And there's they're like, Three, you know. four hours. They're, they're, they're used to that. Yeah, you know, so it's like they, they think every place is like that. They're not reading the flyers, dude. If they read the flyers, they probably would have been there on time. Because it's like the the fact that they, I don't know. It, it's just it's just like they're they're not getting the information from the flyer. 
They're right. getting the information from someone that says, hey, this shit's awesome. I'll get you on. Yeah, dude. We fucking, we get so many messages that are just like, hey, what time's the show or on on Thursday? And it's like, it's on the flyer. It's like, fucking, mm-hmm. we just posted about it. If if you think, and also it's like, it's like, dude, if <laughs> if you're bombing already, like, you know, mm-hmm. like how bad are you going to be when you, when you get here, you know? Yeah. Like, if you can't even tell when, what time the <laughs> thing starts, how good can you how, actually yeah, be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think there's, like, a truly, like, dumb stand-up comic. Because mm-hmm. you, you have to be able to be on time mm-hmm. and, like, know how to treat people and read yeah. people. You know, you might not be educated, mm-hmm. but you're not dumb. Yeah. But, like, some of the people we see are dumb, mm-hmm. and that's why they're bad. Hmm. I'm dumb and I'm not that bad. I use it as a strength. <laughs> you know? I don't know. There's just different levels of dumb. It just sucks, man. Like, cause, cause Comedy's it's like, too accessible. It's it's part of it, though. You know? Because you know that's... It's always going to happen, too. It's like... it's like Just like bringer shows, they're always going to happen at mics. They're always going to have people trying to give people favors. and. Yeah, but that's that. And... I understand that, and I've been watching it for almost a decade now, and no one's given me a good reason as to why. Like, mm-hmm. if if it feels like a cheat, like like mm-hmm. you're not letting me get a full rep in if you're going to do any favors for me in this world. Mm-hmm. You know, I should learn how to be punctual. I should learn how to prioritize my time. As such, I should know which set I'm going to bring to the place that I value the most for this reason. Yeah. You know, like, to, to, to give me any favor in, in any way doesn't help me and also like uh the person that got the favor done for them they're not looking at us like hey thanks they're looking at the person that did the favor and be like hey thanks when they really had nothing to do with it they just threw their name in the bucket as like along with everybody else yeah Yeah. you know so it's not like it's not even a hey thanks for the stage time it's the hey thanks for signing me up yeah yeah and that's the thing too about especially with the the back to the grind format is is like if they don't really get signed up Mm -hmm. then you're also doing a disingenuine favor Mm. like if all you're doing is writing name and they are not in you know the poll Mm -hmm. what are you really doing and 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 on on my back basically mm-hmm. you know on 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 the thing that i'm providing yeah. you're gonna provide you're gonna give yourself a little extra leg up yeah. with for what throw for their what? name in they get a better spot than you yeah but you also know? take time you're taking time from mm-hmm. everybody you're taking there's 120 minutes we get to dole out mm-hmm. you know i've never been as tight as to have only 60 minutes that's mm-hmm. fucking crazy yeah but you know why is any in that room we're all the same and that's why i don't like treatment like that yeah you know in that room, though, we, my fuck, friends are all the same. Yeah. You know? Like, fuck they're em, all still dude. my friends. Fuck them. <laughs> and we're all, I mean... <laughs> they suck. We're all... Man, and then we're trying to get everybody up. That's the that's the problem. Yeah. You know? Is yeah. that we want everybody to For go sure. up. For sure. Yeah, I'm not I'm not trying to gatekeep stage. Yeah. Fuck it, dude. Nope, fuck it. Back it, to the grind is a showcase. Everybody gets five <laughs> minutes. We get to choose you know what? who goes up. It's slotted, and it's $7 Over. signups. Over. Because yeah, that's the thing. Like, if we pulled from the bucket and just ran out of time tough shit we could definitely do that for yeah, sure we could do that yeah you know? yeah for sure and it would keep people but inside we mm-hmm. don't yeah yeah because it's, it's for that room it's not fair to everybody mm-hmm. and and maybe we should stop being fair that's just that's the only way i know how to do it though i mean we make it unfair definitely for us you know <laughs> but like yeah, yeah yeah we just put the three of us up for like seven weeks yeah. in a row first <laughs> and people will catch on and they'll stop coming and then we can give more time to the I real mean, they ones. will they will fall away and the mm-hmm. six real ones are gonna stay but you already know who kind of are, is gonna stick around especially like on thursday like i told carlos i'm sure at some point that there are 33 comics on this lineup and 17 people down here mm-hmm. like what yeah they're all like you partying know, upstairs and shit. Yeah, but that means that's that they're not there for the comedy. Mm. You're not even there to watch people do the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Even you know you're 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 there yeah. for or do the right thing, dude. I have a feeling dude. that the, there's a, there's a lot of them up there that still think I'm not funny, even though like I've proven it before. But they're just not down there to see. And I'm just like, dude, you can't even show these youngsters what's up anymore because <laughs> they're, not, they're not there. they're not there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I don't know how else to do it. 
I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> I'm a man with a curse. Mm-hmm. There's always going to be issues, man. And I don't know if we can hammer all of them out. Because I don't think there's a such thing as like a perfect open mic. I disagree. Perfect? Back to the Guys, pretty perfect. Worthington's was perfect. It could have been, yeah, when it mm-hmm. wasn't three and a half hours long. Or yeah. raining. Yeah. yeah. Worthington's was perfect. Or hot as fuck. Yeah. I think perfect's like we were talking about on last episode. It's like a butt crack. It's more of a region <laughs> yeah. you can get to once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> I think Worthington's <clears throat> had the best uh, chance at being perfect. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You you could you could smack I smacked back there a couple times. Oh yeah. Mm, this was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that again. Your mm-hmm. options were open back yeah. there. Because yeah. it was well lit, so you could do crowd work really easy. Yeah. Back to the ground is impossible. Yeah. I, I mean with three with the, feet past you. With the ambient lighting it helps. For sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah it looks it looks good. I got some new bulbs too for the uh, the oh, spotlight. Sure. It's it's uh better adjustable. Oh nice. So. I was just about to buy buy some too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll so. see. I mean that's why those places are perfect because we put effort into mm-hmm. it. So to come by and just take it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just it's pretty. Feel. It's pretty selfish, and I don't think they even know how selfish it is. No, and how you m- don't know what you don't know, and so and that's that's the amount of stuff yeah. I have to give them. And, and and how much it really does affect them more than benefit them, you know? Because it's like, sure, you might not get asked. I mean, you might never have asked for a show, but you've definitely done favors, you know, to to get recognized. Yeah. So it's like to to brag about oh no like I've only been asked to be on a show I've never asked to be one on one. It's like yeah, but I see you doing favors all the time. So it's like you're asking without asking. Yeah, I don't like I don't like that credit. Like, what does that even mean? Yeah, you know who cares if you ask? Nobody asks. Then nobody wants you. If we think you're if we think (laughs) you're funny, whatever. Yeah, if we think you're funny and and you ask to be on a show, there's nothing wrong with that. For sure. You know what's wrong with is when you ask for shows and you're not even that funny. You know, then it was like, why are you just, why are you asking to be? That's on why I don't ask for shows. Yeah, because <laughs> you're insecure that you're not that funny. Yeah, mm. but, but I, I won't deliver. I've screened. Mm. I mean, that's that's also the dice roll, uh, but that's the excitement of it too. Is that that uncertainty? Otherwise, it's not fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you could do it every time, it wouldn't be as fun. No, that is exactly fun. That but is it exactly wouldn't. no. That's it how wouldn't. you get Joe Rogan's new special. <laughs> bah! Oh, we haven't talked about it yet. Mm. Did we? I feel like we did. We yeah, talked about outside of Brooks oh, one maybe, night, maybe. but no. Yeah. Anyway, and that whole that whole uh, consumption of comedy too is like that's that's not really what it is. You know, when you think about like what a special is now, it's four separate shows chopped together to look like one. Mm-hmm. That's not a real experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like you're getting the first the first show, you know, which could go really well and be awesome. Yeah. But it also could go like that, where it's like. You know, it's better than anything I would ever put out, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, Which is why I think the crowd work specials are ballsy. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, you could just have a bad night. Mm-hmm. It really could. Ha- it won't, because, like, you've been doing it on the road, and you've kind of information chunked mm-hmm. everything I, you've heard. Yeah, I think that's, like, the smartest way to do, like, a different locations special. If you wanted to, like, do the thing where you're saying, like, four shows, but in different locations, that's the way to do it with crowd work. Because somebody... Mm-hmm. Tried to do like a, a regular special, but doing it in like different locations and they were wearing different things. I can't fucking remember who did mm, it. I know Adam Sandler did it. Really? Yeah, Adam Sandler did it. The I think. same special? Like same? Yeah. Mag- oh, yeah. It it just, the one I watched, it didn't really work. Neil Brandon weird. did it as well. Oh, Dave Attell did it. Oh, really? Chris Rock did something, but it was like. Chris a, Rock. Yeah, That's yeah. what I was thinking of. Yeah. It was weird though. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of, but it worked. It was like mm-hmm. a, really? the, the rhythm worked, but mm. yeah, cutting through it like that was weird. Anyway, but I think for like, like crowd work or like I guess David Tell, it, mm-hmm. it's perfect for that because he's. I think for the people like to see, to see like a special like that, like Chris Rock's, um, was it bigger, blacker? Yeah, I think so. Like uh, that one, definitely than mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like I think like watching it as a regular audience member. Like, it kind of takes you out of the, oh, this is the first time he's saying it, you know, in a way. I like the bravado, though. I was like, Dave Chappelle's bid was like, I'm going to tell you the punchline real quick, mm-hmm. and then I'll tell you the joke. I think that's crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's master class. Yeah, but they're on a completely I don't know, though, like, unbelievable level. There was something 
really upsetting as a comic when watching the Chris Rock live special when he flubbed that joke. And I was like, oh. I didn't see it. I only heard about it. Yeah. It's like, oh, dude, you don't even get another shot at this. That sucks. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, that fucking sucks. Didn't they edit it out, too? Yeah, they completely took out the joke, which is like, damn, dude. Like, uh, Was it a good joke? It would have been. Yeah. (laughs) It's crazy how fucking up a a, a line really messes up the entire joke sometimes. Oh, yeah. You know? Dude, I just, I just, I, I mumbled. And now I just saying, fucked everything up. Saying the right joke the right way at the wrong time. Mm. <laughs> or like uh, when you say a word that you use later in the joke mm-hmm. too early on oh, accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your punchline. Oh, you're, yeah. like, oh, you're like, oh, I forgot I was supposed to save that. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, Stupid. Fuck like, that up. Like when somebody introduces me as Filipino, I'm like, cool, I'll start in the middle. Yeah, then. thanks <laughs> a lot, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Fucking great. Thank you. God damn it. Yes, sir. And that still happens. It's crazy. How, mm-hmm. like, Little to nothing. Or ask, hey, what do you want me to bring you up to? If nothing, mm-hmm. this person's been performing all over. Give it up right. for so-and-so. Like, and you know mm-hmm. the thing with, like, if someone asks, like, how do you want me to bring you up, bring you up? you'd usually be like, oh, whatever. Like, yeah. whatever you think is fine. Because you think them to do, like, something fucking normal, you know? Mm-hmm. My favorite Filipina. Uh, the best one was... was Maybe Filipino. Wink, wink. <laughs> one of the best <laughs> ones was with, uh, <laughs> with George. Uh, it was... Uh, the improv one that you hosted and um, you're like, what do you want me to say about you? I don't know. Fool that I fucking listen to podcasts. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> and he fucking legit said it. Like, <laughs> like I don't think anybody caught it. He was like, you can no, catch this guy. He's yeah. like, you, you could, you could catch this guy listening to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That was, that was good. That one is like, I, cause I was like, uh, like hyped about doing the set, you know, that, I I had to I, I listened back to it and I was like what the fuck did this one just say like, <laughs> I didn't notice until like I listened back to it. There are some recordings like somebody's recording their set and I go you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I always take my shit on stage. Yeah, I don't bro. know whose it is either. I'm always just like so gay. <laughs> Just whisper. That's been my for me since like the uh, W. I'll just walk. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> it's like fucking partial tongue heckling, dude. Just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh my god. If it's you, tell me, please. Because I, I don't oh, know. Man. I know. Send us that <laughs> clip. I did it to Nick Lanny a lot. R.I.P. But oh. <laughs> he would always like text me that night though and be like, "That's funny, George." <laughs> really? Someone, yeah. someone uh, took one of his jokes recently at uh, Back to the Grind. For real? Mm-hmm. Like they like that's like mine. they knew that uh, it was his. I, I don't know if they knew, but I feel like I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you guys after. No, just tell us all right now. Mute everyone. The oh, uh, mute it one more time. Actually, huh? Even huh. even even, check, dude. Check. I, had, I had looked. I looked across and I looked at C's, and both of us were like, huh. "Isn't that?" Oh, that's weird. Not that yeah. I have any connection really to the joke, but it is kind of. Kind of a, a, a like, mainstream hacky right, joke, right? I, I was I was thinking that too on my way home <laughs> from Nick Lanny's yeah. Reservoir of jokes. <laughs> no, but like I think I I mean I, that that premise that's set up in punchline is in rap songs. Mm. So like I the way I see jokes like once it's permeated mainstream culture, I think it's it's kind of done. At least that that line, you know, and lines matter. That's mm. why like you know. Even if someone just stole a line from me, you stole the punchline. Mm-hmm. So that's the joke. Yeah. And that's the difference between like stand up comedy and like people being funny at like their workplace and shit, you mm-hmm. know? And it's like, oh, that's the difference between you and me. The guy that it's went like, up last at Brooks, oh, no. I think it was nothing but that. You mean two weeks ago? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> just like water cooler jokes. One hundred percent. It was just like uh, a man walks into a bar. No, I'm just kidding. You know, and just just Damn, shit like that. that it was, those are uncomfortable. It was all. It was We're like you don't even know what to do up here right now. When I gave him the light, he was like, he's like, uh, like he was like thirty seconds into the light, and he goes, he goes. He goes, I have the mic. You guys have to listen to me. And I go, yeah, for another thirty seconds. You know, <laughs> I would have lit him at and two th- minutes. And then he got off. You know, 
No, I kind of sometimes I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> watch the train wreck in slow motion. But I also right. knew I was like, this guy was hanging out outside the whole time. He doesn't even know what the light means. Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, I'll let him burn himself out because he's gonna suck. Yeah. And I was right. I mean, mm. and I think that's part of also, um, I mean, being able, being a good host and, and what sets places mm. like Back to the Grind or, or the Inland Empire in general is like, it, it, there's a, a I, I, I assume a different level of professionalism out here because we're not actors. We're mm-hmm. not going to auditions. We are just doing comedy. Yeah. For the sake of doing comedy <laughs> and, and the professionalism of there and, and being a good host and, and being aware that like this person doesn't know what the light is. Mm-hmm. So if he does, if he runs the light, don't take it personally, mm-hmm. you know, but also maybe introduce, you know, we like most of the people, Melissa, Nikki, Sandy sees, I think they all have a good, decent, like they've been shown, they've been told, they see mm-hmm. like what to do and how to mitigate those problems. And that's why I don't like going to other scenes though, is because those people don't seem to understand those things mm-hmm. of like, hey, here's George, my favorite Filipino. It's like, dude, what if I didn't want to work tonight? Like, mm-hmm. what if I just wanted right. to tell some <laughs> fucking jokes? Mm-hmm. Thanks for nothing. Yeah. And it bothers me. It bothers me. <clears throat> and, and, and that's why we have to be, be fair. Or when they're like, we, when you go somewhere else and it's run by somebody you know, and they're like, all the way from fucking... Riverside. Yeah, or, don't single me out. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like, why are you doing that, dude? Like, you're do- now I'm an outsider. Yeah. Like, I'm automatically, I don't know. It's just fucking, I hate that. I feel shit. like when you're introduced to something like that, you kind of, like, now you're forced to kind of mention it. You know? Sometimes. So, I agree. It, it, yeah, it kind of boxes you in. a good way to reset the room. It, yeah, like, but also, like, most of the people, I would say, if you would go by percentages, most of the people in attendance at an open mic don't even know that you're not from there. They mm-hmm. know that they don't know you. Yeah. yeah, but they don't know that like oh I just started maybe he was coming last year maybe he yeah. moved back like he's mm-hmm. from the area. But the moment yeah. you say all the way from you're like thanks there goes my anonymity. Like, yep. Now mm-hmm. I have to walk up that stupid lake, yep. lake Titicaca. Where where is it? What the, the Michigan Lake Silverwood Sandy lake? Dune? Oh, uh, Sleeping Dune? Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Bear. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Bear. Sleeping, Sleeping Bear Beauty. This is what they call the gay guys down there. Yeah, they don't get fucking <laughs> fucked. <laughs> did, <clears throat> did we pass the ten minutes? Fuck. Um, no, yeah. Oh, Actually, shit. We did it Fuck time. yeah. Awesome. Woo! We did it. This one made it. Is it? Yeah. That's a. Yeah, that's all right. That's a point column. That's it. Dude. That's a one. <laughs> that's actually good. Yeah, we're pretty well. Yeah. Good job. We made Man. it to one. Um, before we're getting further, you guys want to tell the people about what the fuck is happening in your life? Yeah, I don't about, have anything. But that's, that can't be true. You it's 100% true. Dog. Well, if you want to follow everything we do Tuesdays at Brooks Bar. Thursdays at Back to the Grind, the hottest mic that I keep complaining about. I'm mm. sorry. I love it. Ha. I love it. It's ha. my child. You know, mm. I want nothing but the best for it and everyone inside. Um, but Tuesdays at Brooks, Thursdays at Back to the Grind, uh, at the Buddy System Co. for everything. Patreon.com slash the Buddy System Co. if you're going to help us out. It helps us keep all the things running, y'all. Um, I think people think we're getting fucking paid. We're no so not. Okay, mm-hmm. so help us out, y'all. Patreon.com slash the Buddy System Co. If you're looking for me and all my dates at the George F. Uh, I'll be at the Cheech. I'll be at uh, La Jada with Sancho Sanchez. I'll be teaching classes in Redlands. So come hang out with us. Come follow all of the things that I'm doing at uh, at the George F. What you got going on, Los Patinos? <sighs> You can follow me on Instagram at Los Patino Comedy. If and when I have a show, I will definitely post it there and promote it. And, um,. October 9th, I will be a secret guest at a secret location <laughs> in <laughs> Claremont where they serve pizza. So but come. So you're sharing them part of the lineup. See, so there's no problem with that. Yeah, see? see? So I'll, I'll be there if you guys want to hang out, grab some super good pizza and good beer and all that stuff. Cool. All that yeah, shit but if stuff. everybody announces that they're going to be on a secret show in Claremont at a pizza place. Mm-hmm. They could piece it together. The only Pizza that would know. it together. That's pretty good. All right. Thank I'm you. not even going to interrupt that. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm the only person that would know because nobody follows it. So. I, don't regret, <laughs> I don't regret my words. Not on uh, this episode yet. <laughs> the last episode got a little dicey, I think. I know, because you said all... <laughs> Did, yeah. So, I apologize. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so you can follow me on Instagram at willy underscore d20. Uh, September 20th. I'll be in Marino Valley at Papa Joe's Pizzeria, uh, dropping 25 on your bitch asses. I don't think it's in Marino Valley, isn't it? It's in Harupa Valley. 
Riverside. It's in a Valley. In, <laughs> it's in the butt crack. <laughs> it's in the butt crack. <laughs> the butt crack Valley of Southern California, um, Harupa. Anyway, probably deep. It's in the butthole of the butt crack. <laughs> anyway, sure, the food is great. Yep. Um, follow me on Twitch uh, at William underscore D20. I'll be doing WoW raids starting soon. Wow. 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 The week, uh, like the 10th, 9th, something like that is the first time I'll be raiding. So nice. Do it. Do it to it, y'all. Are we um are we are we hyped enough for some Yeah, some, let's clip it up. Now. Some clippy dippies, y'all? Clip are, we? To the, are we ready? Clip to the gills. Dick. Mm-hmm. Well, you, clip, this, this lady can clip a new Clip dick. my foreskin. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> I'll let, I'll let William enjoy his giggle for a second before we. She because they said clip my foreskin. Yeah. Um. She looks like you know those 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 shape shifting videos where they get chased by some witch. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's very accurate. <laughs> like like it's some looks like a Bollywood. Oh jeez. Oh, it's not a she. Oh my god! They look like they discovered phones three days ago. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's for being honest, it's not even really a person. Okay, look at that. what do you mean? Oh yeah, gangster. How cute that that's what he thinks a gun sounds like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, this guy knows what a gun sounds like. He's oh known since he was eight. <laughs> this, has, this guy has no bottom chin yeah, for sure. This guy also is like probably got an imprint of an AK forty-seven. He's probably from some place with the name Republic. Right there, he looks kind of normal, you know? And then right there, Damn. not normal at all. That fish eye lens hurts. Mm-hmm. Really uh, does. He looks like a Muppet. <laughs> what do you yeah. mean? He's got dimples, dude. And and pretty straight teeth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this fool has no chin. I thought it was a dress, but it's actually just floofy pants. He's wearing them quite high, though. Is this supposed to be camouflage or... Is he, just try- mm. is he just imitating the white man that's taken over his country? <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of? <laughs> I show you. Mm. <laughs> that's pretty sick, though. This bitch has a bipod. Uh, it true. Had a <laughs> <laughs> this guy definitely has a, 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 a laser. He's got a laser yeah. on that's that. That's a bitch. drum mag on there. They probably have a whole league out there. A fucking oh, broom broom league. Paint <laughs> 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 paintballing. Broom <laughs> balling league. This fucking, yeah. <laughs> Damn. We have no balls. It's got an upper receiver. It's got a a foregrip. It's got a hopper. (laughs) And a scope. This is Commando Uh, Pro. He made it with his teeth. This is what you see after you get shot by this guy. (laughs) (laughs) Going through your wallet and shit. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I'm the captain now. He's like, oh, you're not dead? Oh. (laughs) Ha ha. (laughs) <laughs> Can I say though I could never in my life make a gun that accurate? Me neither. Uh, no, 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 way. no way. No way. Also, how do you cut bamboo? I don't fucking know. He probably just you went, know. Hoo-yah. Man, look at his hands, dude. Look how fucking <laughs> big those hands are, dude. <laughs> Can't even see the end of his yeah. finger, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his fingers ended his elbow, dude. It's just one <laughs> fucking Slenderman hand. <laughs> That would be crazy. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. You can't see his palm. Oh, my God. You can't see Smile? <laughs> what? The, 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 have you seen the movie? No, I haven't seen movie? it. Oh, you didn't watch it I'm yet? Afraid. Oh, fuck. It's scary. Yeah, see, they're making the second one. Yo, I don't want to be scared. It'd be great. Does this guy look like great. him? Uh, the fingers, there's like a, a stretchy oh, okay. like like mom at the end that like swallows you through her your mouth. It's crazy. It's, cool, 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 it's, cool, cool. Um, I highly recommend. I, I recommend that for years since it came out, dude. That's something that would have been fun in 4DX, a horror movie. Dude. Awful. Hell no, you're insane. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking worker comes Yo, up and stabs I, you I, in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a psycho over here. How could you? Would you watch a scary movie with headphones on? I don't, uh, I don't think the theater would want to clean up maybe. your piss. No, that's crazy. Maybe I, I won't do a haunted house. So that's bananas. What? No, I'm not into that. <sighs> No, not even. It's s- too real. Yeah. I think I'd rather do the yeah. haunted house than no. a really scary movie with headphones. With well, a haunted house, mm. I don't know where the exit is. Yeah, with but it's not, gonna, it's not going to last that long, though. It doesn't feel like that. It's going to be like ten minutes. Cortisol's real. That's too long. 
<laughs> to not know how to get out? No, man. If it's the same length as the movie, I'm out, though. I'll take the movie. <laughs> Just put headphones in and play one of your sets. You know? Oh, God. Do you want them to throw up? <laughs> the, the, the monsters get Told afraid you, of I'm you. Not, I'm not doing the haunted house, dude. <laughs> All right, what's this? I, I did just click randomly. This looks crazy. We love motorcycles on this show, right? Gotta love them, especially when you're not wearing a uh, helmet. Helmet, no. <clears throat> the way or, God intended. See how I fucked up that joke and it didn't land? Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Damn, how do you stop? Oh my god, those cars should not be up there, dude. <laughs> dude that guy. Why has he got his blinker on? I think I think the guy. <laughs> hazard lights. Oh! I think the guy up there is the one driving. I bet you this is super fun to yeah. watch. No, 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 to do it. I bet it's fun as hell. Oh, yeah, he probably is. You're probably right. I don't know. Oh, no, maybe not. A, yeah, no, there's a driver right there. Right. Damn. <laughs> Would you be the guy riding? Fuck, Stand no. on top of the car. I wouldn't uh, even be in the back seat. If I had to, if like you had to pick one, yeah, yeah. I would be the guy out of the window. Really? Like, then I feel like I could jump out. You know what's yeah, yeah, happening? Yeah, like, nah. yeah, right. That's just Jackie fall on Chan. Your head. I know, yeah. but I feel like I could leave. Dude. I don't know. You might be able to just hop to that top there before. So I'm saying, just I I see Tom Cruise do it on Mission Impossible all the time. Just mm-hmm. fucking jumps as it goes. Doing the dirt bike seems super fun though. Mm-hmm. It looks like they're almost like driving, like in a, on a like normal <laughs> road for this. The so real question is, how do you start the cars up this yeah. thing <laughs> from the bottom? <laughs> that's, that's from the, the bottom of the crack, dude. What a, <laughs> what a task, man! Then you stay to the end of the show and you realize, oh, they're just on there, like yeah, they they're just on a track. Yeah. They're like a the little pole thing. Yeah. Ring, ring, ring. Damn, I put some clips in here, but it didn't show up. It's called the Wall of Death, I believe. This, yeah. I know this is because cool. I was watching Top Gear. You were in Mexico? No. <laughs> this is actually my family right here. They're <laughs> no, I was watching Top Gear where they had to do that with their test vehicles. Test vehicles? Well, like they each get they each choose a vehicle. Uh-huh. And they're like, they do challenges with the car. And this is one of them? This was one of That's them, That's yeah. funny as fuck, dude. Was Those another one a loop-de-loop? Hmm? A loop-de-loop was uh, another one? No, they didn't do that. I like the one That'd where cool. they tried to drive across the salt flats. Do you remember that? They took like three different cars across it and mm-hmm. they all broke down. Damn. <laughs> really? Just, yeah. The yeah. air was like too dry. The, wow. the texture was weird. But they also like purposely got like beat up cars that you would get from like that country. They mm-hmm. do crazy shit like that. Yeah. Huh. And they try to fix it <laughs> on the street like, yeah, yeah, yeah. with their road crew, oh, which is like hilarious. it's a triple A truck, basically. And they're <laughs> like, no, we're going to try and rubber band this shit <laughs> together. Or they like drive it through those yeah. uh, those roads in Peru. Yeah, I've seen that one. That one's crazy. Where I'm just like, dude, like, and it's like a v- one of them has a VW bus. Yeah, and you're like, dude, you're not gonna make it <laughs> yeah. up this thing. Oh yeah, God, yeah. Carlson, you know? <laughs> Clarkson, Jeremy Clarkson. Yeah. He's like he's got his head out the window, and I'm sure it's edited. But at some point, yeah. his wheels have inches. And you're like, yeah. fuck. It's like, <laughs> how do you? This is for real. Dude. Like, how do you have the balls to be like, man, dude? Sometimes like driving through like towards your direction up the up the hill, or d- Big Bear going around yeah. a mountain. Yeah, fool, that shit is whoa, white knight, rough, white yeah. knuckling the shit of it. And these fools are just fucking, you know. Driving. I wonder if I can do a J turn here. T- t- <laughs> talking on the talking on the walkie talkies, talking shit to each other. You know, every time. Hammond, do you have insurance, mate? <laughs> every time I go up to one of those mountain towns, uh, uh, there's always. I'll get somebody that pulls up behind me, like going super fast. Yeah, like, I was like, Christ. "How do you, dude? You have a Maybe if I had a Subaru, you're gonna ruin your I car. I, would, yeah, I, would, I wouldn't do that either. You know, just, like just drive around me. It's fine. I'm scared. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> I'll go into this pullout. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna shoot his ass. You fucking. Around. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Are we past the ten minutes already? Or? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. God damn. <laughs> that wasn't even the clip. That was just. <laughs> Fucking just, just vibes. friendly fire. Just vibes. Um, this one, this clip is titled "My Apologies." Oh Lord! So we're gonna full screen. Oh it. Lord! Fifty-one seconds. Buckle up, folks. Here we go. Guy crossing the street. Never good start to a video. Um, I will say that it, it appears that these two know each other, or they're at least familiar. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're locals okay. of said neighborhood. Okay. He be shot. Look at him. Look at him. I'm going to shoot his ass. He's fucking around you. today. I remember you. You're the security guard of the building, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I've been having problems with you, man. Mm-hmm. And you know what, man? I, 
I, I want to apologize to you, man. Okay. I hadn't had my medicine in. I'm on psychotropic medicine, man. You know I'm schizophrenia, you know? Right. I hear voices. I see things. This they say this is not really there, and I just want to apologize to you because I was wrong. Hey, you know I've been working all day. I've been working for twelve hours all day. Can you just shake my hand? Of course. That's all I've been wanting was an apology from you. That's it. That's all. I'm just trying to do my job, sir. But you know what, sir? I was thinking about something. Hey man, I thought about sure it right there when he was crossing <laughs> the streets. Like, hey man! Oh no, I think it was long before yeah. that. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job, sir. But you know what, sir? I was thinking about something. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this nigga crazy? Do it. Come on, hey! You going to fucking jail, man? Yo, what? Hey, get the fuck off my property. Oh man, that fool's trying to swing <laughs> like. Heavy, dude. He sold it. Yeah, he, he sold it. If it wasn't for the sunglasses, it might have worked. I was almost feeling bad for the guy. Like I was almost like, this is kind of sad. You know what, sir? I was thinking about something. Come on, hey, you going to fucking jail, man? Yo, what? Hey, get the fuck off my property. Come on. You know, I'm schizophrenic. I take my medicine. About psychotropic medicine. <laughs> he said all the right things. Yeah. Top to bottom. I'm telling I'm you, I'm sorry. Start... I'm out for my hand. Yeah, it started to feel bad. It started to feel bad for he him. He should have done it at the handshake, right? Just fucking <laughs> held him fucking bow. I think he tried to do that, but he made the swing way too obvious, dude. Yeah, I wonder yeah, if the guy just bad. like dapped him up and he was like, oh shit, crap. I have to make something up here. Mm. That's when he put the sunglasses on. Funny thing is, like a week from now, he's probably going to come back. Hey, man, you know what? I was That's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> he hits him four weeks in a row. <laughs> Man, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> All right, pick a number. It's gonna be your last clip. One or two. 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 All right. This was clip number two. Oh Lord. Man, We're just making fun of people today. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that what we do here? Schizophrenics. Read it for them, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 All right. No problem. Here's the problem with a GTR or whatever the fuck this stupid oh. thing. <laughs> Dude, what is this thing? An emo. This is a... <laughs> no, 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 no. They do this shit in Japan. What do they do? Those, those, it's like a very side-to-side, like... Like an anime dance? Like pata pata dance. Pata pata. Watch, we can do it. Pussy, pussy. Pizza, pizza. Cross, cross, stretch. stretch <laughs> what cross, the cross, fuck? Stretch, this, stretch, spin, is this spin, a guy? It, it, you have to ask them. This makes me mad. Them is the right word. What is hanging from their waist? Are these are their charms? Keys. Is their that a lighter? A lighter, dude. Yeah. That's pretty dope, actually. I'm not mad at that. Is that a, a Nissan Sylvia? Hey, if you want to light my your cigarette, you have to go down to my cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only mad at the camber. I'll be honest. The rest of this, I'm, I'm okay with. Why? What? Are, what? What are you talking? Why? <laughs> that haircut, dude. I'm fine with it. That's a mom's haircut from Wait, fucking did, 2006. That's hair band, dude. Did this shit loop already, or how long is this fucking video? I don't know. It's two and a half hours. We're gonna oh watch my yeah. That's why I said this is the last clip. Wow. You think they get tired, but then there's this thing about this kind of dancing is that like it's pretty effortless. Would you wear this? What? Uh, probably a version of it. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would stop you as George, your friend Gene if you shorts. showed up with that wig on. I'd Gene push shorts. you a lot. Well, my, me, I would. I would interpret. <laughs> <laughs> there, right I, I, I don't it know. It was a long video. It I just would. Looped. I would find a locker and I would push you into it. You'd build a locker. <laughs> I'd find yeah. mud and push you into that too. You know, <clears throat> that's crazy. I mean, how green that that. Yeah, you know, that, and the that cars that is. might be fake, but the car is dope. Not the tires. No, that's just. Can't even drift with that. What? Okay, it's true. It's true. Tell that guy that. I know about drifting. What you know? That guy's a professional drifter. That like, guy? Yeah. You Hold mean on. he walks everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> that's a grift. That kind of drifter. Yeah, it's grift. <laughs> that's oh, my bad. Not when it's hidden. <laughs> <laughs> that's how an Asian person says it. I am drifter. 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 <laughs> 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 All right. Any any uh, any news for the kids while we close it out? Anything you want to uh, tell them? Never. Never does never. Anything. I wasn't racist on this one, so we're good. Good for you. Do so I have news? I don't think I have news. 
What's what would be news for us? I don't know. Mm. George is teaching classes. One of these days we're gonna make fun of him for it. Try. Well. Oh yeah, Professor George. Carlos. Professor G. Professor G. Professor G. More like Professor Prof. You just like call him Prof. Yeah, you'll call me Prof. You still know? What can I say? I follow the professor. The the day, so professor? Are you going to change your Instagram to Professor Bud George? PhD. PhD. <laughs> TGF. Bye. <laughs>